Hey everybody, welcome to another CSS hack for the wonderful Elementor page builder in WordPress. And today I'm going to show you how to add that missing masonry option to your gallery widget. So here we have one set up with five columns with a very simple masonry effect. So let's jump straight into the back end and get moving. And what we have is a basic gallery image widget already in place. And the first thing we need to do is to move it to a minimum image size of 300 pixels and drop down the columns to one. And let's rush over to the custom CSS where I'm just going to paste the entire code in because you'll be quite amazed how simple and short it is. So there we go. We've got our code in place and immediately we can see the gallery now takes on a masonry effect. So let's have a zoom in close to see what's going on here. So first of all, we're targeting the Elementor explicit class of gallery icon and the image that will be within it. And we're defining a minimum, a fixed width of 100%. And we're forcing some five pixels of margin to give us that masonry gap. And the next statement is wrapped within this media query of 1024 minimum pixel width and we explicitly target the gallery one id again it's a class an id that's been set up by elementor and will be unique to that one particular widget so if we have more than one gallery on the page we'll see there's gallery one gallery two etc and the main property that's doing all the work is column count to push it up to four and then we have a second repeat of that, but this time wrapped around in a media query between the minimum and maximum widths for defining between the mobile and the tablet. And all we've expressed in here is we've got a column count of two. It's as simple as that. So now when we view this particular version of it, we'll see on screen that we do have our four and our reducing down to two columns. So there we go. As we drop it into a iPad mode, we end up with two columns. As we drop down to our mobile, we end up with a single column. So really, 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 really simple. So let's just jump back over to the back end again, just to show you a couple of things that are a little bit weird with Elementor occasionally. Like let's change it to five columns. Well, we only see two, but don't be concerned about it because the thing will refresh itself normally on a return line and we see the update. So just to tweak it, we can adjust the column counts from quite easily from the numbers that we want. And there we go. So I'm hoping it's shown you a little bit more about CSS today and inspired you to do more with Elementor Page Builder and CSS. And that's all from me.